The Liberals are backing away from their proposed small business tax changes after a disastrous rollout by Finance Minister Bill Morneau. Liberal tax reform proposals managed to piss off doctors, farmers, small business owners, and recently retail staff and waiters. It was a communications nightmare, but I'm sure the PM trusts Bill Morneau to handle the cleanup, right? My questions are actually for Minister Morneau. Um, I'll take them. Okay. Um, <laughs> The only Canadians not upset about the proposed tax changes were the ultra-rich, a class to which both Prime Minister Trudeau and Finance Minister Morneau belong. Trudeau is in one-tenth of the one percent, and Morneau is in the one-thousandth of the one percent. They're in a club so exclusive that to be in it, your last name has to end in O. <laughs> but surprisingly, neither of them will be affected by the tax changes that claimed would make wealthy Canadians pay more. Justin Trudeau recently had this to say about his family's money. Uh, I uh, no longer have uh, dealings with uh, the way uh, our family fortune is managed. Hey, Justin, if you want to see middle class, don't talk about your family fortune. <laughs> Bill Morneau says the changes were meant to make the rich play by the same rules as regular Canadians. But just last week, CBC News discovered that he had failed to disclose his private corporation that owns a villa in southern France, the Canada's ethics watchdog, because he forgot. <laughs> you know how it is. You get tied up in the Tim's drive-thru on the way to drop the kids off at hockey practice, and you start to pick up some groceries. And by the time you get back home, you realize you forgot you owned a secret villa through a private corporation <laughs> in Provence. Typical middle-class stuff. So why would Morneau have bought this villa through a private corporation? Because it's a great way to avoid paying inheritance tax. You know, the very thing Morneau wanted people who own farms to have to pay when they pass those farms down to their children. Morneau's tax changes would have affected Canadian farmers, but not private corporations owned by Canadians incorporated in France. For us to raise a child, it takes a village. For Morneau, it takes a villa. <laughs> Morneau was very concerned about income sprinkling. Well, Bill, this is more than sprinkling. In fact, I think you're pissing on my leg and telling me it's raining, okay? <laughs> After months of telling us that small businesses need to be taxed more, yesterday Morneau said no, they need to be taxed less, announcing that not only would income sprinkling be allowed, but he would cut the small business tax rate to 9%. Why the sudden change? It's all about protecting the jobs of Canadians that otherwise would have soon found themselves unemployed. In particular, the jobs of Justin Trudeau and Bill Morneau. <laughs> Laughter is part of a well-balanced diet. Don't forget to subscribe to 22 Minutes Below so we can do this again soon.